Hello, this is Denis from ESC Plus, and I'm here with, uh, together with Anna Celine from uh, who competed for Estonia. Right. Um, and we're going to do this interview, of course. Yeah. Anna Celine, like, how are you? Uh, I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be in this like Eurovision community here in Amsterdam calling, and I always feel so much love and so much appreciation. I get love, but I also get to feel love towards other artists and the fans, so I, I just like it. As we say in Swedish, like the fish in the water. <laughs> okay, cool. Great to yeah, hear, great yeah, to hear. And yeah. um, did you ever like visit other places in the Netherlands? Your husband is here. Yes, he's the, there. <laughs> oh, there he is. Let's, yeah. let's do it like a quick husband. There, there he is. is. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> So, do you like that Netherlands as well? We Thank you very much, yes. You do? Okay, great. And I think Go. also that the subject sounded awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. nice. Nice yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the beginning I introduced you and of course, yeah. uh, before we also talked a little about like your participation in the Eurovision Song mm -hmm. Contest. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I ask like the people I interview mm -hmm. um, is, would you return to your vision mm -hmm. uh, well you did actually you mm -hmm. gave it a try yes. could you tell more about that I mean I love your vision I would return in a second uh, I actually did give it a try this year I had a song in Estilao mm -hmm. it uh, ended up as the f uh, number four in the final I of course I would have ho hoped to win even though I really loved Stefan's song too and I love him he's a sweetheart of course I wanted to win I love Eurovision and I totally want to return mm -hmm. um, and actually I've been as a lead singer as you know uh, in 2002 but mm -hmm. I have been a background singer also several times for four different nations so I've been in the whole like I've been in the Eurovision on stage five times so I love it I just can't seem to get enough of it but of course I want to stand there as a solo artist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what is the particular thing you love about your vision if you would mm -hmm. like have to mention one thing yeah I love the diversity that mm -hmm. people are coming to, together in peace M more important now than ever I think mm -hmm. in in peace and music and under understanding and you can see like you have brilliant pop songs mm -hmm. mixed with like crazy songs and like you, you show your cultural, like there are that are like some cultural elements in the mix, and but most of all, it's peaceful and it's happy and it's mm -hmm. nice, and that appeals to me very much. And um, if you look back on uh, your participations, mm -hmm. you said that you were in your vision mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. uh, participated mm -hmm. uh, uh, five times. Mm -hmm. um, what? did you learn from it is there something that you learn from being on stage or as an mm. artist or definitely um it's what's so important is to actually take in the moment and to to really uh, dwell in the experience and not rush it and actually feel the presence of the audience, mm -hmm. the presence of music, and really be there. Uh, the first time, I mean, I, I was doing background vocals with Charlotte Nilsson, mm -hmm. well, Charlotte Pirelli, uh, with Take Me To Your Heaven, and we won, that was in 99. And by then I was really young, so I, I was a bit stressed out. Mm -hmm. But now I just feel like Eurovision for me is, um, is joy and happiness. But also, from a professional standpoint, it's also nerve-wracking, of course, mm -hmm. because you want to be as good as possible, and I don't want to make like any mistakes or anything like that. So now, when I did champion in the Estonian pre-selection, I was very, very particular with my performance. I wanted to be like just the way I envisioned it. Okay. That was a long answer. <laughs> But like a full answer, yeah. so that's great. Yeah. Um, so it could be that we might see you mm. uh, 
come out for another country than Estonia? Could that be? I mean, I, of course, um, I don't think, I don't want to be this artist that goes all over mm. Europe and be like, hi, can yeah, you yeah. take me? No, no, no. I feel like, of course, my home country is Sweden. Mm. But my other home country, like where my heart is just as much, is in Estonia. And uh, I think that, well, maybe this is a little ballsy of me to say right now, but when I was in Esti now, it was so much fun that I would probably try to do it next year. Okay. I haven't decided if I want to go for Melody Festival or Esti mm -hmm. That is yeah. pretty exciting. Yeah. That's a little bit of a scoop yeah. right but, but, there. Yeah, yeah, oh, I there. hope so. I mean, I need ESC to write the... Has a, has yeah, oh my God. Yeah, but yes. I can say that I will hope for it. So I need to write the song. I got to send in the song. So I don't know. Details. But, <laughs> yeah, details are perfect. But I want to. I want yes. to. Okay, yeah. that's good. So Because I feel like this was so much fun. I got to do it again. Yeah, so the motivation and the ambition Absolutely. is there. And I want to go back to the Eurovision. Yes. Again. And I would love to win. <laughs> it's I mean, also I important. Say, I, mean, I mean, just because, I mean, it's, I'm not saying that I'm going to win, but mm -hmm. it's a dream, you know, yeah. it's a dream. And also, I feel that this community of fans has been so loyal and so nice to me and for 20 years now. So I would like to give something back to yes. them. That was my vision with Champion. I wanted to create a real Eurovision number and I would be so happy if you guys would want to, you know, watch my performance in uh, YouTube mm -hmm. or if you wanted to listen to the song. It's on Spotify, so okay, yeah, good. put it on your playlist. <laughs> because like in 2002 you came so close, right? You, you came third. in third, third. Yes, yes, you were so yeah. close. Yeah. Uh, and it was a massive hit song yeah. on all over Europe, mm -hmm. in all of Europe. So, so that was great. And Runaway opened so many doors to me, mm -hmm. and has taken me on so many journeys. So, I'm very happy about it. Great, great. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yes. Um, what can we expect of your performance tonight? Oh, tonight I want to deliver. Um, positivity, energy. Mm -hmm. I'm good at energy. <laughs> I want to hype the crowd, of course. And I'm gonna do. You're gonna hear some of my melody festival and oh. songs. Mm -hmm. One or two, maybe. <laughs> Are you gonna do champion? Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> scoop, scoop, right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be a little bit of everything. But also, there's one wild card that I'm doing. Oh just for fun okay and also in my i might have thrown in one of the songs that i did background vocals for in uh, in one of the years in uh, in eurovision mm -hmm. so you can so now we have to think what could what could that be mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> so maybe we make that like a viewer yeah yeah, yeah. Kind what could of it question be? and yeah. also question what songs did i do background vocals for Okay. Um, mm -hmm. That can also be a question. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Good. Well, I would like to thank you yeah. for this great thank interview. You. And I wish so you the nice. best of luck tonight. Thank you. Is there anything you want to say to the ESC Plus viewers? Yeah. Of course, I want to say thank you so much for the love and the loyalty throughout all these years. I do not take that for granted. And I hold you all very close to my heart. So thank you. Great. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thanks.